Hello there, and welcome to a very special episode of Magic the Gathering, where we celebrate the release of the Wilds of Eldorain. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, as you can see, right when we open it up, um, when we open up the uh, the app, or when we open up Arena, sorry, a little, little frazzled, we got some rewards here. Got a new, a new pet and courtly fairy, a new card, a uh, card sleeve. I'm not entirely sure who this is yet, but we'll see. 50 packs of Wilds of Eldraine, five golden packs, which are coming from pre-ordering the release. We also get the card styles for two of the um, new cards, again, from two different forms of pre-order, which should be our mythics. Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. Very nice, um, interesting card so far. Activate abilities of creatures you control cost X less to activate, where X is Agatha of the Vile Cauldron's power. Interesting. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cost to less than one. Interesting. And then for four, any color, one red, one green, other creatures control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample and haste until end of turn. Not bad. Not bad, very interesting. Very much obviously a commander card, or one that's meant for being a commander, but cool. I'm assuming Agatha the Vile Cauldron is... Well, I'm not sure who this is referencing uh, in terms of, you know, fairy tales and stuff like that. Maybe... Uh, maybe the Gingerbread Witch? I'm not, I'm not sure. The other one will be... Aretta of the Charmed Apple. A... One or one any color, one white, one black. Each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. Interesting. So that's very much like apply auras to your opponents. Hmm. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of auras you control. So very kind of like give auras to your opponent. Preferably disabling ones and give and then give yourself good ones. So potentially a black white auras deck that would be interesting. So that's that. Oh, new band cards from the, from the historic. So none of these really affect me. Non basic lands are, are mountains. That's terrifying. Um, can't say I've ever seen any of these cards. I don't play historic. I don't have. I don't have enough cards from old sets to actually play Historic, so, okay. All right, very cool. Very nice. I love that gingerbread. That's that, I like it, I think that's funny. But let's get into it. That's right, this is also um, a new rotation. So, Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow, Neon Dynasty, and New Capenna are all leaving um, alchemy. They'll still be in standard. You'll still be able to play them in standard, but that's fine. Here is our renewal gifts. Let's see what we got. Ooh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Okay. Alchemy 2023. I don't recognize any of these cards. Innovative Meditech. Okay. I'm not going to read all of these, but if you want to pause to read them, be my guest. Great Desert Hellion. Very cool. I like the art on that. Starting Intensity Perpetua. Okay. I'm guessing these are like rebalanced cards. That's what that stylized A at the bottom is. We have Tiana Angelic Mechanic. Um, okay. By Elsabeth's Command. Enchantment. Very nice. Listening Extractor, and a new card, A Tale for the Ages. Enchant Enchanted Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Ooh, that's cool. So that, that would actually, that pairs nicely with um, the Charmed Apple um, card we just got. Okay. What else? Awesome, a lot of new cards. It's very nice. Elvish Ar Archivist. Okay. Interesting. I'm not really going to take the time to go over all of these at the moment, just because there is a lot to do in this special episode. 
a lot of new cards to go through and stuff like that. Expel the interlopers. Choose a number between 0 and 10. Destroy all creatures with power greater than or equal to... Oh! Greater than or equal to that show. That is terrifying. No wonder it's expensive. Bramble Familiar. Elemental Raccoon. I like it already. That's a pretty expensive uh, sorcery adventure. Mill 7. Then put a creature, enchantment, or land from among the milled onto the battlefield. I could see that being very good. Expensive cost, but... Hmm. Interesting. And then it's... Okay. And then... Bologna, Grand Squall. Giant Noble. Interesting. Seek Thrills, is it's what it's called? Okay. Interesting. And here is the new Mastery set. So it looks like our pets are going to be fairies. I, I, I don't mind that. Those are pretty cool looking. Kalen is who that is. Or Kellen. Kellen. Fey blooded. I'm assu I have a feeling like that's kind of like a um maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a uh, Peter Pan analog. I'm not sure. I'm honestly I'm just trying to pull like um analogs to all the different fairy tales that I know where in, in most cases that might not be the case, but you never know. So I will go through this very uh, very briefly. Um, we won't really go through the rewards just because we'll be seeing those. Um, I will go through the mastery tree after we go through a little bit of it. Early, early mythic. Very nice. Why, what is, why are these green? Like, what is this? Hmm. Not very often. Man, they're being a little bit more, um, giving with the, um, if you don't purchase the, uh, Season pass, which is I think is very nice that they're doing that. I do want to know what this green is though. What is, what is that? We'll have to. I guess we'll have to wait till we get to rank eleven. Interesting. Though it seems to be, is it doing the same thing? Yeah. Okay. So eleven. So the one, three, seven, and nine. One, three, seven, and nine. Yep. Woodland fairy at at rank thirty. Very cool. Again, they're being very generous with all the packs. It seems like, what the, what, uh, that looks like a graphical glitch, but okay. Oh, it's because it's part of renewal, that's why. You're getting, like, these are typically areas you probably wouldn't be getting anything. I didn't, okay. Yeah, these are things that you, at these levels, typically you wouldn't be getting anything, but because it's a renewal season, you are, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, and then it goes back to normal. Gotcha. This is the Barrow Fairy. Very cool. Very cool. Like I said, we'll be going through these a lot more in depth as we get to these levels. I'm hoping I'll be able to get all the way to... That's pretty cool. Get all the way to... Oh, it's only 70 this year? Or for this season? Hopefully it's not that short of a season, but, you know, but we'll see. Very nice. Now our Mastery Tree. Oh, I love that. They look like brambles. Uh, starting at white, Archon's Glory. Again, I won't really be going through all of this. I'll just be looking at the ones that they showcase. So, like the Blind Obedient Sleeve. Very cool. The, oh, what is that? Oversold Cemetery. Terrifying. Dragon Mantle. That one's pretty cool. The Beast. I like that. It's not bad. Omni Omnipotence. Omni no, sorry. Omniscience. And very cool. All right. Well, we do have some announcements over here. Uh, yeah. These never really work for me that well, but woe be unto us. We get three packs for the new set. We'll go ahead and claim those, as well as all of the new um, land, land art. I really like these. I might have to go in. No, I, 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 I might have to switch up my, my lands, but I, I like what I have. So, so there we go. Might as well look at the store to see if there's anything particularly new. Might take a, might take a second. Hmm. 
might take a second because I'm pretty sure um, when like a renewal or a um, yeah when a rotation season comes out, things get a little bit more not hectic, I would say, but yeah. Ooh, those full arts are nice. Those are cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. I have, I'll have to think about it. I'll, I'll definitely have to think about it. Rowan Avatar. Hmm. Cool. Will. Looks like kind of like an Ice King. Cool. Oh, that's right. They were they were putting out like anime stuff as well for this. Yeah, I forgot about that. That anime art is really nice. There's some otter storybook styles. What is this about? It's just a card style. Okay, for these specific cards. Man. Though they all look like they're maybe for older cards. Very cool. Alright. I always check the daily deals just to see if there's anything I like or anything I want. At the moment, doesn't look like it. Oh, that's... So they're from... Okay. So Rowan and Will are planeswalkers that seem to have been in the uh, Strixhaven set. There's lots of scholars, is what it says. Okay. Huh. Switch between the two. Interesting. I don't know them very well. Don't know how relevant they are, but cool. All right. Yeah, try to get out of the store. Well, this is different. What is this? Quick. Oh, we have a new a new thing. So we still have our weekly, weekly wins. We have our you know we still have our dailies. But now we have a complete three quick draft matches. Is there new stuff? Is there new stuff? Hold on. We have these are new events starter deck. Duel? No, that's not new. Quick draft match, March of the Machine, Sealed, Premier Draft, Traditional Draft, Jump In, new stuff in that. Might actually have to try that. It's an easy way of getting a lot of commons, uncommons, and potentially some rares from the new sets. Traditional Sealed, Alchemy Events, and okay. So yeah, just a lot of new stuff. Sorry, I'm not the best when it comes to this. Uh, the Quick Draft, I might have to try that for once. Um, wait, what was that? Get up to participate in person events through. So oh, okay, never mind. All right, well, that is that. Let's go ahead and get into the pack openings. So, what we're going to do is just keep this from going like super far over. We're going to open these five golden packs and then three of the Wilds of Eldraine. After we open those three, the next 40 will be open 10 at a time. The last 10 we will open one at a time. So, let's get into it. First golden pack. Oh, I like the new um, animations. Those are cool. Okay, let's just go ahead and reveal them all. Okay. Nice. Most of them, four of the six, are from the new set. Got another Expel the Interlopers. Very cool. Gruff Triplets. Satyr Warriors. That's expensive. Uh, if it isn't a token, create two tokens that are copies of it. Oh, wow. No wonder. For the price of one, you're getting three three threes. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I got Hilda of the Icy Crown. I believe this was another... This, If I had done... There were three pre-orders that they've been doing. I forewent one of them. I'm assuming Hilda is the... I think Hilda is the one I could have gotten. Hilda of the Icy Crown. So this is our Ice Queen. Very cool. Very nice. And then Realm Sculpture Hellkite. Cool. Bargain. That seems like a new ability. You may sacrifice an artifact, enchantment, or token as you cast this spell. Oh. Okay, so if, like, something you have is based on if it dies or is sacrificed, you can do that. Okay. Oh, or when Realm Scorcher Hellkite enters the battlefield, if it was bargained, add four mana of any combination of color. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Next one. I 
really like that card animation. That's nice. I'm guessing this orange is the fact that it's a mythic. So we got two mythics in that last pack. One in this one. Rith. Okay. I've had that. I've gotten that card before. But the new ones are Devouring Sugar Maw. Interesting. We have Charming Scoundrel, naturally. Hey, uh, Sir Ginger, the, the meal ender. <laughs> oh, I like that. I don't know why. Food Knight. That's funny. Um, has Hexproof, Haste, Trample, Hexproof, and Haste as long as an opponent controls a Planeswalker. Okay. Whenever you an another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Ginger and Scry one. Nice. Grand life equal to its power. Okay. Are kind of the white rose. Interesting. Uh, oh, this is another, another. Other creatures you control that are enchanted by auras you control have base power and toughness for four and have flying. Wow. Okay. Definitely seeing, you know, the odds for an aura deck. For an aura's deck. That could be cool. All right. Next pack. Ooh, three mythics this time. Very nice. Sarkin, Soul of Flame. Very cool. Oh, that's from an, a different, from a slightly older set. We got a Planeswalker. Our first Planeswalker. Ashiok, Wicked Manipulator. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you would pay life while your library has at least that many cards in it, exile that many cards from the top of your library instead. Okay, I see what it's saying. Look at the top two cards of your library, exile one of them, and put the other into your hand. Interesting. Create two 1-1 one, one black nightmare creature tokens with, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if a card was put into exile this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on this. Okay. I can see the, I can definitely see the synergy there. Nice. And then target player exiles the top X cards of their library, where X is the total mana value of cards you own in exile. Hmm. All right, then. That can be very dangerous. You could do that to yourself to make a horrendously powerful nightmare, but you run the risk of, like, out of um, emptying out your deck, or you can do that to your opponent and just wipe them out. Nice. Next one is Yenna Redtooth. Okay. Like I said, if you guys want to like sit and actually read every one of these cards, if they're new to you, you've never seen them, or you just want to read them, go ahead and pause it. I'll give it. A, I'll give it like a couple seconds where it's unobstructed. But anyway. All right, two more. Second to last. Two mythics. We'll take it. Okay. Uh, only two new ones: Heart Flame Duelist and Elusive Otter. Nice. Huh, wait, 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 wait. Creatures with what power less than Elusive Otter's power can't block it. Interesting. And it's a prowess card. Nice. Um, instant sorcery spells you control have Life's Link. Oh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. No wonder you're a rare. Whew. Nice. All right. Last of the golden packs. These are the last of our guaranteed rares and higher chance mythics. Yeah, one this time, not too bad though. Newest one is Twinning Twins. I guess we already have Thunderous debut. I didn't, maybe I didn't notice. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Okay. So that is that. Now we get into the new cards. Like I said, we'll open the first three, then we'll go through the next 40 by going open 10. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Real-time loading here. No editing. <laughs> there we go. Like I said, there's probably a lot of people on right now. Ooh, we got a Mythic. I do like that they're showing this now. The cor the corona around the card is a lot more pronounced, so you know what you're getting. So that's nice. Interesting. Like I said, I'm not going to take the time to read through all of these. I will be doing that when I start building, when I start to update and build new decks with this set. Virtue of Knowledge. Nice. All right. Next one. Ooh, 
another is that another is that am I, or am I being fooled is this mythic or is this a rare am I being fooled I hope not very nice though Kalen the fey blooded Kellen Kellen is what I would say human fairy that may that just makes me think even more so that it's like a Peter Pan analog yeah, uh, other creatures you control get plus one for each aura and chant. So there's a big emphasis on auras and aura and on, on, on auras. Man, I was getting tongue tied. In this set, very cool. Very cool. All right, so that's that. Maybe good for a red white. Cool. All right. Last one. One of the last ones will be open individually. Yeah, that can't that can't mean what I think it does. Or am I getting really lucky with these and getting mythics every time? It that is what it means because that is a mythic wild card. We take those here. Very nice. They have a new card art for evolving wilds. That's cool. All right, cool. I'm very much looking forward to building decks. So, first ones of opening. Oh, that is really cool. Showing you like every card that you actually got. Only one mythic out of them. But that I really that is really cool. That was a really cool animation. Wow. Okay, so interesting. Got some rares. I'll hover over this one so you can see it better. There we go. Very interesting. Another Heart Flame Duelist. That's nice. I can see myself building a deck with that. Potentially, or that being an important card, maybe. A, a new Restless vine stock instead of beanstalk. That's funny. Interesting. Another another land. All right, all right. Let's see this again. I love it. It's very cool. I think it is. But it does take. It will probably take it a minute. I see a lot of new cards in here. I did see it. It was like right over there so three mythics this time nice again we take we definitely take um rare wild cards here very nice very nice hover over elusive water okay fiery emancipation <sighs> nice nice all right another rare wild what are we up to Eight rares, 20 mythics. Nice. All right, so that is that. Next, 10. Very cool. Let's go ahead and reveal one mythic again. Will, Scion of Peace. Yeah, that's three heart flames. I'm liking that. I don't know. I just, I really like the idea of having four of this just because. It looks like a good card. Just the instant sorceries you control have lifelink. That's just so nice. All right, nothing too new here. Soul of Totentez, yeah. Oh, is it like a Pied Piper type thing? Yeah, okay. Very cool. All right, this will be the last set that we open 10 at a time. And then we'll go through the last 10 individually. Alright. Two mythics out of the 10. Very good. Another rare wild card. We take those. And hover over this one. Scalding Viper. Mana value 3 or less. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice, like, punishment. Good for a red blue. All right. Interesting. Like I said, I'm gonna have to take some time to make some new de to make some decks, modify, make whatever. Two rares this time. Very cool. Phyrexian Unlife. I wonder. Can I? I don't know if I can play that. Cause yeah, that has to be the um, the diamond with the wing around it. That is part of historic. I think. Because a lot of the if, at the beginning of this ep of of this um, video we saw the band list, they all had that symbol. So I'm pretty sure those aren't cards we can have, or that we can use. Nice. 
like I said, if you really want to read them, I'm not going to go through all of them. But if you want to read them, pause the video, read them there. Because this is, this is taking a minute. Waiting for the server, yeah. Pretty much I'm recording this basically an hour. Well, started recording it about... <laughs> about 30 minutes before... Um, or 30 minutes after the set released. So yeah, so naturally they're having issues, which is fine. Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, so there's probably a lot of traffic on within Arena at the moment, which I understand. Primal Vigor, Lord Skitter's Blessing. Very cool. All right. Only one rare this time. The Apprentice's Folly. <laughs> oh, I like that. Sacrifice Reflections. Interesting. Very nice. Alright, what else we got? What else we get? Stone Splitter Bolt. X damage to target creature or if this spell was barring and it deals twice X damage. What's the oh, you have to pay X. Gotcha. So very much the idea of like sacrificing stuff to get better benefits. Cool. Shared animosity and elusive otter. Got a lot of elusive otter. Alright, last five. Nice, nice. What are we at? 1322. It's not great on rares, but we'll deal with it. I've been using a lot recently. Nice. Alright, next set. Got a rare. Heart Flame Duelist. That is four that I know of for a fact. I think. Where are we at? Vault, Vault 24.3. Nice. The Apprentice Folly. Okay, nothing new here. Second to last. Two rares, very cool. Monstrous Rage, cooped up. As foretold. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm guessing these don't these won't show up for Yeah, those have to be historic only, which is unfortunate but not unexpected that they would do that. Decadent Dragon. Alright, cool. Alright, last pack of the pre-order. If it'll open. <laughs> There we go. Does that? I don't guess it wants to be opened. Anything really good? Another new card there. And a Princess's Folly. All right, everybody. Well, I do believe that is going to do it for today. We have some. There's a lot of interesting new cards out and out in play now. The rewards for the um, mastery, the set mastery, look really great. I, I think they're cool. Um, I'm going to have to be spending some gold, I think. It looks like I might be updating my avatar, too. I really like Rowan. I don't know. I just I really like Rowan for some reason. Um, so, yeah. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, it, it'll be in a couple days, but in a couple days, we should hopefully start seeing these new cards in videos. You know, I record about two days in advance or so. So, we'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this um, celebration of the Wilds of Eldraine release. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. And please do not forget to let me know your thoughts about this episode, about this special episode, in the comment section down below. But other than that, 
Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.